Hey, it's Mohammed with Product Feedback, and welcome to my review of the iPhone 5 Wannabe, the new Apple iPod Touch. The logic behind this is really, apart from the cellular functionality and a slightly better camera, these devices actually provide a very similar user experience. Personally, I actually found the design of the iPod Touch more intuitively designed. This is because the device is designed to stand up to the daily beatings of carrying it around. Whereas the iPhone, in my opinion, is a great device, but one that is designed more to be locked up as a jewel than towards kind of daily use. I thought I'd clarify this as many people usually ask what the difference is. So thumbs up for good device, and now onto the iPod Touch. Taking a look at the device, we really have a very nice and thin device. It doesn't weigh much either, so for long sessions of gaming, it is a near perfect weight and good distribution of that weight as well. The left side has the volume rockers, which click very nicely, much better than the volume rockers found on many Samsung devices, just saying. The back comes in a variety of colors. I chose the black because it has a black screen around the front rather than the white like the other colors, but this is just out of personal choice. On the back, we also have a five megapixel camera and LED flash, which is quite good. If you want to see samples, please subscribe as I will have a separate video on that. All I can say is that it's good enough for Facebook and is basically the same camera found on the previous iPhone 4S. The front holds a brilliant 4.0 display and looks the same as the one on the current iPhone 5. Not only that, but in comparison to the old iPod 4th gen, is a huge improvement in picture quality and black levels. I could recommend this device purely on the screen. It really is a fantastic screen. On the right, there is nothing much happening, which is the same for all the top, apart from the on and off. The bottom has been redesigned with the headphone, lightning connector, and speaker. The downside with this is if you have a nice iPod dock, you can basically bin it because you're going to have to buy this ugly adapter to make it fit. Thanks, Apple. On the front, we also have a new front-facing camera, which can be used to make FaceTime or Skype calls and also has been improved in picture quality. Performance-wise, this device is a significant improvement on the previous iPod Touch, around Geekbench and achieved a score of just over 600. This isn't as good as the iPhone 5, but just to put it into perspective, it performs just as good as the iPhone 4S. Either way, the iOS software which it runs works fine, all apps work well, but don't forget about Siri. Yes, the new iPod Touch does include Siri. This means if you are lonely and you want someone to chat to, now you have someone. Siri, beam me up. Siri, beam me up to the Enterprise. Wi-Fi or 3G. Siri, can you launch the weather? Here's the forecast through Tuesday. Siri, talk dirty to me. A few people might complain about the new maps found in this device. I will too, it's a definite downgrade, and I will download Google Maps once the iOS version is out. But in reality, without a GPS built in, apart from searching for an address, I would hardly see this being a used feature. Let me know if you agree in the comments below. Being a personal entertainment device, the inbuilt speaker does get the job done, but it really could do with a bit more volume. The sound quality from the headphone port also sounds good. The bundled ear pods that Apple raves so much about is nothing special. Pick yourself up something better if you do decide to buy one. The new wrist strap adapter is a cool idea for that added safety. Great if you buy this for young children and I appreciate the thought. Now going back to my original opening of this review, maybe I did get it wrong. This isn't an iPhone 5 wannabe. This is actually just an iPhone 4S without the cellular functionality in a nicer form factor. And on that bombshell, Please make sure to check out my channel for more videos and subscribe to be updated on the review of the iPod Nano. Muhammad out and peace be with you.